problem I had when I first did the uh, spring replacement with uh, the stock struts with my Tesla Model 3 was uh, the stock struts were not enough to actually open the hood. Uh, it looked like from initial testing that it did pop it up enough where you can get your fingers underneath and lift just fine. Uh, it definitely wasn't an auto open like it'd throw it up for you. Uh, so what I've done is I've uh, done some research. I've tried a couple different struts. Uh, they didn't work the way I wanted. One of them wouldn't even go down with the front lid. So I've uh, done some more research. I found some that were decently priced and uh, looked like they would do the job. So uh, here they are on Amazon. I'll include the link in the video below. And uh, we'll have that for everyone to uh, go out and look at and decide for yourself. But these are the ones I bought and installed on my Model 3, and they seem to be doing the job. Uh, I did find during some testing, uh, it's been on for a couple days. I had an instance today at Home Depot. I went to uh, open the front and put the bag in. It only lifted maybe two inches up, uh, which was fine because I actually kind of prefer that so I can control the front. Uh, but all my testing at home has been done, and it's auto open. I do find that it's a little a little too fast coming up. I'd like it to be slower, so I think they're just a little bit overpowered personally. Uh, and at the end, when it stops, you can see the, the frunk um, kind of shakes a little bit when it comes to a full stop. Uh, you can also tell there's a slight bend when you go to push down on it. Um, it's just flexing slightly for the frunk lid itself. But uh, it doesn't appear to be any damage. Uh, it doesn't look like it's creasing or bending or anything like that, so I think it'll hold up just fine. And we'll go from there, and I'm hoping as it gets colder, the temperatures change, the fluid leaks, uh, it weakens a little bit, and uh, makes these a little more gentle. Uh, but if not, maybe looking to uh, make it some type of bracket to put on the front where the uh, mounting screws go onto the lid, and uh, maybe reinforce it somehow. But this is what I got, and they are working pretty well. part video. Uh, part one involved front lid closing, making it easier by replacing the stock spring with a low tension spring and using stock struts. Uh, we found only in ideal situations you could actually get the front open using stock struts with the low tension spring replacement. So that's why we followed up with the Bosch RV struts review with the low tension spring. Uh, as you can see uh, quickly from review is that uh, with a low tension spring you can use different struts that are non-stock uh, in this case with Bosch RV you can have an automatically open front lid and closes with ease. Uh, please subscribe down below for our YouTube channel and share with your friends if you found this informative. Uh, also please uh, review our uh, referral code if you found this information that helpful and you're looking to buy a Model 3 or other Tesla, please uh, go ahead and use that. You'll get a thousand free miles and I'll get a thousand free miles for you using my referral code. Uh, also, please follow us on Facebook. You can find us by simply searching for Model 3 Geek, all one word, into Facebook and you'll come up to our page. Uh, please select that and join and we'd be happy to have you in our community and share the information we have there. And uh, look forward to hearing from you.